So this guy named Branzi killed everyone on the server with a goat. Everyone was just trying to do Branzi's new scavenger hunt, but the whole thing was a sham. Whenever somebody stopped to read the last clue, a redstone trapdoor released a screaming goat that killed everyone that day, except me. Wait a second. Is that redstone? I accidentally disarmed the goat trap before I got whacked off the cliff, and Branzi wasn't too happy. I will get you, Wreck. One day. Apparently that one day was last week when he posted a video hiding secret bases all around my base. Suspicious looking tree? Secret base. Weird light shining through a crack in my wall? Secret base. A gray shulker box in my waterfall? Secret base. But instead of trying to kill him like he did the whole server, I'm one-upping Branzi and building 10 secrets in his base. The first one's probably the most obvious, but underneath his chest I've hidden a button. And if you press said button, a trapdoor opens up underneath the ladder. Branzi's just gonna think this is a prank, but if you wait long enough, you get access to my underground complex of tunnels. In this bunker, I've hid all of my diamonds because I'm betting that Branzi won't find any of my secret entrances. If he finds even one, I will give him literally all of my diamonds. But I don't think he will. Entrance number two is even better. I've hidden some netherrack in his basement. If you smelt one piece of netherrack in this specific furnace, it'll open up a secret door. If it's any other block or any other furnace, it will not open the door. For the third secret entrance, I'm thinking about using a redstone torch key. Basically, the redstone torch is your key. If you place it down, it should open a door. But there's one problem. I don't know how to build a redstone torch key. I'm guessing it has something to do with a piston, though. If I place a torch here, it does not power it. What about here? What about there? Oh! By the way, I'm testing this outside of his front door, so if he logs on, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> When I usually do this stuff, I spend like hours agonizing over every single detail until it finally works. Those are cats. I just spend so much time trying to get it work, but like, is this seriously? I really thought that was gonna work. But now, come on, open up. <gasps> yes, that worked. I just need to add some delay. Okay, so this circuit should add all of the delay we need. Add some of the finishing details. Place the torch here. It does that. Uh-huh. We drop straight down. And we're in. Oh my gosh. It actually works. It's been a pretty good 24 hours. I actually haven't played too much Minecraft, but I got two new doors to show you guys. You wouldn't see it if you weren't looking for it, but I put a note block amongst all of the dirt. And if you press it, it does open up a secret door. I mean, look how cool that is. Plus, it's like the best for safe. You just press the button, swim out, you're out of his face. The fifth one's also pretty cool. Some of you might like it better than the water one. It's probably like second place for me, but if you take any item in your inventory and you're like, hmm, I, I gotta burn something, chuck it literally in the fire. <laughs> A piston door opens up down here. Boom. We're in the secret complex. And I gotta mention something. In a strange twist of events, somebody else is actually trying to make secret entrances in Branzi's base. I don't know what came across the server. Maybe everybody was just got an itch to build secret bases. Um, but my friend Siv, he's going around building secrets all over the server and he wants to make one here too. So we're gonna team up. But first I wanted to make sure none of my secrets were too easy to find. So I invited him over to see if he found any. Just give it up. Quick ender pearl here. I'm wondering if it might be like out here underwater or something. Aha! He has found one. I don't know what it opened. Uh, he but doesn't I know though. Something. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, oh, wall. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it took him like 15 minutes to find the first door, so I was pretty confident we could move on. We built another secret base about 100 blocks away so we could connect it to mine. I built a tunnel out of brick and granite, and bam, we had our sixth secret entrance. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm just leaving uh -huh. it. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. I'm not gonna be fast enough. Throne. Yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Yes, but way too easy. <laughs> Thankfully, Siv has agreed to do a fake collab with Branzi, so that while Siv is keeping Branzi busy, I'm gonna be building a secret base right under their feet. Should increase the difficulty just a little bit more. Um, this might go horribly. I'm pretty sure I'm at Branzi's base, but I have an invisibility potion on me, so we should be able to make this work. Get ready? Invis, 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 invis. Take it off. Okay, okay. <laughs> I wonder how it's going. The idea I gave Sim is so dumb. Well. <clears throat> they should be plenty far away. I don't think... No, there's no way they'll come over here. After a bit of finagling, and thanks to Sib's glorious distraction, I got a piston door in place. Don't look. 
Don't look, Franzi. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, we got it. Okay, secret entrance accomplished. This is good. This is good. This is very good. Honestly, it was pretty easy. Sip distracted him. He was like 50 blocks away. But that might have boosted my confidence a little too much. This time, I wanted to build an entrance when I'm literally under Branzi. Okay, maybe this isn't the smartest of plays. Oh my gosh! He didn't see! Oh, oh my gosh! He walked straight through me! That was the scariest moment ever! Okay, okay. I'm burrowing, I'm burrowing, I'm burrowing. Did he hear anything? Did he just load a crossbow? Does he hear me? Why does he have a firework loaded in there? Oh my gosh. He totally knows me. He knows it. He knows. He knows. Oh my gosh. He loaded a freaking crossbow? Guys, what is Brands? Brands, he's gonna kill me if he sees me. I feel like he's up there with a crossbow. About to shoot me. I heard him again. At this point, I was totally convinced Branzi was just walking above me, crouching, waiting to shoot me with a firework. But I had a plan. I used a mod called Replay Mod to get all of my time lapses, and in it, I could see if Branzi was above me. What is he doing? I have this in fast forward mode. He's just sneaking around with a freaking crossbow. <laughs> what? what is he doing? He's on top of the tower. You know what? If he's on top of the tower, I feel safe coming out. Did you see me? <gasps> he's there! He looks like he's looking at me! I successfully made a secret entrance, but then my invisibility ran out and Phantom spawned above oh, no. me. Oh no, 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 my invisibility's running out! Oh no! The Phantoms were gonna be a dead giveaway, so I went back to the main base and tried to get inside my secret complex. What? Okay, go, go, go. While the noise was made. While the noise was made. Ah! No! Why is there gotta be a creeper inside my secret bunker? <laughs> is the world exploding or is it just me? That was a little close for comfort, but we still need one more secret entrance. Thankfully, Branzi logged off. And the idea for this last secret entrance is that if you stand on this pressure plate for, say, like, five or eight seconds, it'll open up a door. I'm gonna have to add some sort of timer, but like nobody's just gonna stand here, right? To make this door work, I kinda had to modify his basement. I added this row of stairs here, that way we have room to add some redstone. I don't think he'll notice. So this block should be where the pressure plate is. Now, I, how do I do this? Maybe with hoppers? So that doesn't work. Yo, look at this redstone. It looks so complicated, but it works. My only problem now is whenever you step on the pressure plate, you get this tick, 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 tick. You hear that? That's not what I want to hear, especially if we're trying to be like sneaky. I have a theory. I don't know if it's going to work, but it makes sound because the dispenser is empty at some point. In theory, if I fill that up with like wooden swords, I mean, I hope it'll work. I don't necessarily think it will. I've been staring at like this flashing redstone. As crude as it is, I think it works. So now I need to hook up a door or some sort of entrance. You know what? Why don't we just put it right behind the trap doors? Can we fit a piston door in here? Um, might be a little tight. I don't know how many of you do redstone, but when you put something together like this and it looks like a mess, but it works, that's like the best feeling in the world. I don't think I'm going to get that feeling from here because I don't really trust that mess of redstone, but we'll try it anyways. So if I just stand here, in theory, we should hear some pistons in like three seconds. <gasps> no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I, I can't get too hyped right now, so if we just walk over it, and then like we walk over it again, that should not activate this door right here. Which it did not. Open again. Do it. <laughs> 
I feel like a wizard. The last secret entrance is done, but you should know that when Brancy finished all of his entrances, he asked for a tour of my base, which meant that I ended up walking past all of his secrets. Like, look how close this is. The shulker box is right there. I'm like a block away. I want to do the same thing to Brancy, but he's going to be real suspicious if I say, hey, can you give me a tour of your base? No, 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 no. What better way to throw him off than to build a secret base with him? All right, just dumping the rest of my stuff in my chest about to go lodge my friend's face. So you built secret bases in my base, right? And I thought it'd be funny, instead of retaliating and like blowing up your base or something like people would normally do, if I teamed up with you and we just ganged up on Chief, cause he's your roommate, right? Uh huh. A little cheefy surprise. Okay, cheefy I like surprise. where your head's at. We walked around the entire house and he didn't notice a thing. But we couldn't actually build a secret in the basement. He would find my place instantly. So I dragged him outside to make a garden for his roommate, Chief. Remember, the idea is we're building a secret from Chief. Franzi seemed to buy it, so we got to work. Building the garden was going well. Whenever I needed resources, I'd drink an invisibility potion, go to the bunker, and grab some stuff. Then out of nowhere, Sully literally crash lands on the island. Make it have pillars? Whoa. Hi. Turns out he actually wanted to help build the secret base. Uh, oh, can I let you in on a secret, Sully? Go. Don't tell this to Branzi. I gotta be quick about it, though. This is all just a scheme. I've been building, I've built 10 secret entrances in that house to the left of here. And so to fool him, since he he made a fool of me in his video, yeah, I'm making that. him build this secret entrance. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't don't tell Branzi anything. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. You, you need to say how we okay, need to. I've got lots of acacia wood, my friend. After finishing the garden part, the three of us moved down to build the actual secret base. Boys, this is going to be the best sleepover ever. I don't know about sleepover, but we each needed to make a bedroom. This is gonna be a proper base. Do you have any string? I do. Do you need some string? Uh, I would like some. I need to test something. Okay. Oh my, that's terrifying <laughs> the way you did that. <laughs> I just came straight wow. through the trap door. That was great. <laughs> what should we call this? Gotcha, uh, uh, sucker. Um, yeah, gotcha, sucker ain't bad. Someone was going to be a sucker this video, and it was about to be me. As we were exiting the house, the secret door opened up right behind Branzi. I thought I was done for, but apparently Branzi just wanted to go into the secret base and tell us something. Oh, did you know that if you make a bed... Hold on, I'm coming to tell this to your face. If you make a bed... Uh, and it's like white, you can just dye the bed instead of making one out of purple wool. You yeah. Dye the mm -hmm. bed. Yeah, white ones you can, yeah. It's the only one you can do it with. All right, I'm going to my room. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, the base was pretty cool. We had some chairs around a jukebox and we were ready to party. Now we can all hang out and listen to records together and tell each other secrets of our past that no one else knows. <laughs> you know, I got a secret base now too, you know? You'll never find me. Is this is this your secret base? Is this? Yeah, I have multiple mm -hmm. secret bases all throughout <laughs> here, Brantley. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Something tells me there's some truth to that joke. If you want to see the start, this is Brandy's video killing everyone with a goat. It's pretty good.